Yo everybody, this is Rob with the Great, aka The Toy Bookie, and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add graffiti to your dioramas without an airbrush. Now, not everyone has the access and the money for an airbrush. I thought I would make this video to show you guys how to achieve a similar outcome without an airbrush. Now, why an airbrush is usually the best for graffiti on dioramas is because it's basically the same thing that an aerosol can is, just smaller, and you could really achieve that look of a sprayed paint. But, not everyone has the money or, you know, wants an airbrush, but you could still achieve a very similar outcome. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. It's nice, fun, and a little bit of graffiti and, and stuff to your dioramas really adds to the realism because it, it really just helps to sell a piece and make it look more realistic. So, and it's, it's fun. Enough with the talking, let's get to the tutorial. Now what you're gonna need are just a few types of markers. You're gonna want, you can use paint markers, get different sizes of paint markers, but I'm using a acrylic paint marker. This is a Pasha marker, but they also have different brands where it's just a, a form of acrylic style paint instead of uh, paint markers usually have an enamel style paint and that gives you a different look. That's good if you want to make a marker look on your diorama uh, and adding the graffiti you're going to do some sort of spray paint looks and marker looks so you know just experiment with all different types but for what this is this is going to be uh, what I'm drawing right now is a hand style or like a tag that's in spray paint so I draw it in just the marker right but when you spray paint something it's not one equal size right so when you spray paint something it's usually you know the when you lift your wrist up it sprays bigger on the top because you're spraying up and there's more spray coming out when you write with a marker the marker is all one it's all one line so it's all one thickness so if you're gonna try to make marker tags on your dioramas make sure you use a smaller marker because you want to scale the the marker to the diorama. So use a smaller marker and just use one marker that's all one size. But if you're trying to go for that spray paint effect, uh, what you can see here is I'm dotting the top of the 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 tag. I'm dotting it with, and I'm gonna go in and with different uh, with different size dots, right? So I'm gonna use different markers and write different size dots because spray paint is like it's a bunch of dots hitting the wall so you're gonna see with this tag it's gonna look like I hit it with a spray paint it's it's spray paint and not a marker tag on this door because uh, you just make the top you're gonna want to just f flare the top out and just make little dots and, and you'll see with, with when you get closer to this it, it, it starts to look like it's not just one it's not like it's not a marker. It's not one size. It's actually starting to look like it's sprayed, as you can see there. And now that we have a, a spray paint tag, we're going to be doing a marker tag. Now this is going to—it's supposed to look like a drippy, fat mop brush marker. So I'm going to actually tag Fat Cap Joe. That's my toy, my character. If you guys are familiar, I, I released a toy a few times and it, it all sold out and it's my character you know, check it out on Instagram if you're interested fat cap Joe but right now I'm going for a a tag this is like a marker tag on the wall see how it's thicker it's all one line and I'm going to be adding some drips to make it like usually a marker if it's a custom made mop marker it'll drip in some areas see I'm doing the drips and those are markers are usually very messy if you're not using just a standard skinny marker so for this tag, I was going for more of a, like a pilot marker, more, uh, like a, maybe like a big Sharpie someone would have on them, maybe like a school kid and they're just messing around with the door. And I was going for like a skinny that style tag with, uh, with that one. It wouldn't be a door without some stickers. So I'm throwing up one of these graffiti stickers, you know, those hello, my name is stickers. Uh, I just printed them out. I have a whole video on printing accessories for dioramas, so definitely go on my page and check that out. Uh, little paper accessories really add to your diorama. And this is just, uh, I put it on with the, uh, some crazy glue, which 
I wouldn't recommend usually use like an Elmer's glue or a Mod Podge but this is what I had right next to me so I used it that's when I make dioramas that's what I go for whatever's there now is for the fill-ins or the bubble letter graffiti and what I did was I just paint the with the brush instead of people use marker when they're doing graffiti but I feel like the marker sometimes pushes the diorama foam and it pushes it in and it gives it like a, a texture you really don't want. So I found that you could just do your base coats with a, you know, the cheap paint, you know, just acrylic paint on there. And then the outline is where you can use a marker. So I just do a few layers and oh, so when you do graffiti and you're filling in one of these, you go left to right usually. People do, uh, when you're filling in a, a throw up or a fill in, you do left to right. So make your brush strokes look like it was actually, you know, where the paint marks, you might see it soaking through. Uh, you just go left to right when you're filling this in it because it really adds in. Uh, for people who don't, do who don't do graffiti, it's hard to explain to you, but just go left to right, believe me. It it's a more realistic look for graffiti. And now for the fun part, the outline and... uh. I put myself in a corner with gluing the walls and the floor together before I did the graffiti, but luckily it came out pretty good and I was happy with how it came out. But we're using the acrylic marker again. Again, I would use, go look up Pasha markers, look up acrylic markers. They're better than the enamel markers on your dioramas, trust me. Sometimes the enamel markers will even eat the foam, so you got to be careful with those. But. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I just do the outline and then I just kind of try to make the outline thicker in some places to give a more realistic look. Because I remember spray paint comes out different consistency, different sizes. So try when you're going for a spray paint look, different consistencies when you're going for marker, the same consistency in the line work. And for the last part of the graffiti tutorial, it's up to you. Make a tag up that you put in all your dioramas. Don't go out tagging. I'm like, if you're going to be making dioramas, make your own tag and tag up all your dioramas so it's kind of like a piece of you in the diorama. And here I, I'm just adding little details and stuff. Make it look fun. Have fun with them and go crazy. And if you need inspiration, Instagram has a ton of uh, really good graffiti artists on there. And, and, you know, just get inspired, change a few things, and, and that's it. And so that was my graffiti tutorial video. I hope you guys liked. Stay tuned because this is broken up into different parts. We're going to be doing other tutorials with this same build. And I believe a weathering tutorial is coming up and a door tutorial, how to make the door. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. This was Rock of the Great, a.k.a. the Toy Bucky. And we're out of here. Peace.